Well, hello folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up that screen. Oh, this is big news. Parker, a four-star edge rusher, is back in play for Tennessee. He has uh, decommitted from Penn State. So this is really big news because Tennessee has already got two top 10 edge rushers. If they could pick up Parker, who was actually leaning heavily towards Tennessee a, a few months ago before he committed to Penn State, I mean, you pick up three big time edge rushers, that changes the game dramatically for us on defense, especially over the next three or four years. It would just be an unbelievable recruiting haul for Tennessee. And needless to say, James Franklin was not happy to hear about this decommitment. Why? 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 And that was his actual press conference when he found out about it. <laughs> and let's get into the article about it. It says, uh, Tamarian Parker has decommitted from Penn State. His father, Tommy, tells 247. He'd given the Nittany Lions a verbal back in June shortly after his trip, and that's never a good idea. You probably shouldn't go ahead and immediately after a trip commit. You need a, a chance to get home and think about it for a minute. It says a couple of SEC programs have been staying on Parker as well. It says, I do know he's still been talking to Florida and Tennessee that I know of, Tommy said. So Florida, Tennessee, and Georgia, that's probably his top three. He's the nation's number four defensive lineman and the number 49 overall prospect. I mean, he's a big dog. He's going to play in the All-American Bowl following a senior season. He's had 135 tackles over the last two seasons, in court, including 26 and a half sacks. So he's six foot four, 250. I mean, that's just perfect size for an edge rusher. Says has the ability to add additional weight if needed. Position the majority of snaps in a two-point stance, stand-up pass rushing edge roll. He says displays good athletic ability, natural ability to bend the edge. Said very quick. He's got that suddenness that you like. Got strong hands at the point of attack. He can beat you with speed or power, especially at 250 pounds, six foot four. That's the ideal size. Says he closes space as exceptionally well for his size. So he's got quickness and power. I mean, man, we this would be a nice pickup. And here's some stats on him. He's a high four star, 95 rating. So everybody's got him up high. Obviously, Penn State's no longer a crystal ball, so we know the three teams he's looking at. Now let's take a look at some of his highlights. There, I mean, that's just that's too quick, that's too fast. You can see, look at the look at the offensive lineman afterwards. Look at him right here. He's like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> All right, here he comes around the edge again. Oh, he's on you. There's just no way. He's got he's got flexibility. He can bend at the point of a he can bend around the corner. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, this would be a great pickup. Look at the size of this guy. And, and that's just pure athleticism right there. So I can see. Oh yeah, Tennessee's wanting this guy so bad. You put him in there with our other two recruits, it's going to be ridiculous. So imagine pairing him with Chandavian and Caleb Herring. I mean, you're talking about a five-star, another high four-star, big, strong, fast guys, along with this guy. Our defense would be a menace. I mean, we could compete with Alabama and Georgia very quickly if we pick up a third high four-star or five-star edge rusher. This would be huge. Biggest thing ever happened in Mayberry. Real big. Big, big, big. Yeah, it's big. Listen to Barney. So I feel really good about our chances. I tell you, I'm, I'm thinking like 50, 60% chance we pick this guy up. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. All right, folks, so that's real good news to see that uh, he's back in play for the Vols. And um, I like our chances. I think this would be a great pickup for us. And we're only a few weeks away from the first game. Man, it sounds like it's getting ready to have a storm like you can't believe around here. Man, my <laughs> lights are flashing and everything else. But anyway, uh, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the balls. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I, I just started this about a month ago, so I could use some subscribers. And I hope you did like the content. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.